Uh, so most of you know that uh, Laura's mom lives with us, and she is an amazing, amazing woman. I, she is literally the joy of my life. I, I love this lady more than you can imagine, and it isn't just because she does home-cooked meals, okay? Because she's old school, okay? Imagine like your, 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 your grandma or your, your mother-in-law. Some of you are like, I can't imagine my mother-in-law living with me. <laughs> so you're like, I, no, I don't care how good she cooks. She ain't living with me. I, I get that, okay? Although I know some of you ladies are like, man, mom could live with me. Hey, and she could do the cooking. All right. Of course, some of you are like, mom would be living with me. No, okay. <laughs> I get that. But my mother in law, she is amazing. I absolutely love this lady. And so she's always cooking these home cooked meals for us. But, but, um, I don't like vegetables. The show of the band here, how many of you like vegetables? Vegetable eaters, non-vegetable eaters. Anybody raise your hand? Okay, okay, yeah, so where you are, vegetable eaters, non-vegetable eaters. Okay, I am not, I don't like vegetables. I don't like anything really green. I don't like broccoli, I don't like spinach, I don't like, I don't like things orange, I don't like carrots. Um, and she is constantly trying to get me to eat my vegetables. Always, Brad, you need, you need to eat, you need your greens, you need to eat your vegetables, that's what you need, you need these tonight, you need to eat, and I'm like, I don't, but I, no matter how much I try to tell her, I don't like vegetables, she's still trying, just like, and, and when, and whenever she's doing this, I feel as if I'm like two years old again, like, like, I feel like this, like, look at this picture, <laughs> That's how I feel, okay? That's what I feel like when I'm sitting at the table. What, am I, am I two again? What's happening in my life here? Just a couple of weeks ago, she put a pea on a spoon and said, here, I want you to just try at least one. Here, she's like this. Here, here, try just one, just one. Here, here. And, she's, and I'm like, okay, 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 I'll try it. And I don't know if anybody likes peas, but to me, when I put it in my mouth and it began to chew it, I remembered, yep, this is the same feeling and taste I had when I was seven. Mm -hmm. Imagine a, you know when a cat coughs up a fur ball, and if you took it and wrapped it in saran wrap and then chewed on it? That's pretty much what, it, yeah, nobody's eating peas anymore, are you? <laughs> Nobody wants peas anymore. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't, I don't like my vegetables. So I was talking to my sister-in-law, and she says to me, Brad, have you not heard they have a pill? A vegetable pill. No joke. I went out and I bought these vegetable pills, okay? Look, this is it right here. I, they, they have now put vegetables in a pill form. Look at this. Every vegetable you could want is in, broccoli's in here, spinach is in here, carrots is in here. You know the one, the one vegetable that's not in here? Peas. Peas are not in this vegetable, okay? But I, it just, I, want, it, I want it to be easy. I mean, I just, oh, I just dropped my pill. I got to take that later. So hang on, let me get that. can can't lose my pill. <laughs> oh, but I, I just, I know I should eat vegetables. I, I, I know they're good for me, but I, I just don't want to. I, I think this is really how a lot of people feel when it comes to reading the Bible. I mean, it's like, I know it's good for me. I know I should, but I just struggle, and, I, and I'm just not really doing it. And truth is, we're, we're, looking for, we're looking for a magic pill. We're looking for easy. Like, what would make it easy? Like, I talked just a moment ago about version, and I love version. I, I, I use it every day. But, but version, if you're not careful, can become the magic pill. It can become easy because they'll just, they will, you don't even have to open up the app. They will text you the verse of the day, and, and you can just, boop, pops up, read the verse of the day. I'm good. Took my pill. I'm, I'm good. They recently came out, I think it was the last year or two, I guess in the last year, they came out with uh, the YouVersion story. Have you guys seen this? The YouVersion story. So it's like Instagram story or Facebook story. And you go on there, and, you, and uh, when you look at it, it'll give you the scripture, and it shows the verse of the day, and you read the verse of the day, and then you click to the next picture, and you don't even have to think about the scripture. Like there's somebody who's telling you, a little two-minute devotional, and they're telling you what the scripture it means that you just read. And then when they're done, you click to the next image, and it has a prayer already written for you. Like you don't, you don't really, it's, it's a simple, easy magic pill. Now what's crazy is, as easy as it is, and as, as uh, um, the access that we have right now, the word, why is it we are struggling with reading the Bible? 
Why is it most Christians struggle with reading the Bible? I think it's because we're not supposed to be reading the Bible. <laughs> now, hang on before you, you know, go get the pitchforks and the torches, you know, and say, off with his head, heretic. No, that's not what I'm, listen, listen, I'm not, it's, it's not about reading the Bible, but it's about engaging in a relationship with God. That's what it's about. 